Days into the protests, community leaders set a list of demands they wanted from the Kansas City Police Department. On that list, body cameras. I don't see this as being a hard issue for officers and the community. I think we both want the same things. Body cameras are widely used around the country. In 2018, Atlanta police officers captured a baby rescue from a hot car. Lack of money has been the reason KCPD hasn't used them. That changed last week when the DeBruce Foundation raised $2.1 million. I don't know if people may have the wrong um, interpretation that there's some sort of um, adversarial kind of relationship with the body cameras. That's not been our experience. Most of the people here, they want to wear the body cameras. They want to have the camera on while they're at work. No, we're done. We're, we're done. You're under arrest. We're In 2017, a Utah nurse was arrested for not drawing blood from an unconscious patient. Because of a police body camera, the officer's behavior caused him to be fired. Because the game that will be played is when they're ready to do something dirty, the camera will go off. When everything is looking good, it'll go back home. People protesting in Kansas City want to make sure all actions by police will be recorded. We asked Chief Smith if the officer would be allowed to turn the cameras off. His answer is yes, in certain situations. You know, if you have a rape or a child, I, do we want that recorded, right? Do we want those statements recorded at that time? I, I'm not saying it will be or won't be, but those are the things we need to evaluate. Right? Chief Smith emphasizes that. that policies for operating the body cameras still need to be decided. Those are the kinds of fine-tuning things we'll have to come, but I'm just saying at the, at the you know, 50,000-foot level, everyone's on the same page here. Everyone wants the same things.